Built in the 1950s, this abandoned structure is known for its dark history, tragic deaths, and spine-chilling paranormal encounters. Many claim that the spirits of past patients and nuns still roam the halls. Built by the Felician Sisters, this once thriving facility became a sanctuary for those seeking care and comfort. But behind its walls, countless lives ended in tragedy, leaving behind an eerie legacy. Over 2,000 deaths were reported here, some under mysterious and gruesome circumstances. One famous story tells the tale of a love triangle between patients and staff, which ended gruesomely in the demise of all three in the boiler room in the basement, leaving blood stains on the walls till this day. To date, the abandoned hospital is a dark shadow of its former self, filled with cold, empty halls where the restless souls of patients and nuns are said to linger. Shadow figures, disembodied voices, and unsettling whispers are just a few of the hauntings that visitors claim to experience. To me, this seems like a residual haunting. This is Yorktown Memorial Hospital. Hey, can I just do a Big Mac sandwich with no pickles? Hello? Going on, Scarecrow. Hi, hello, welcome. We are at the Yorktown Memorial Hospital right now. We just got the tour. I am extremely sweaty. It is so very hot in here, very humid. Didn't think about that. There's no AC. This place is very, very raw, very old, dilapidated, abandoned. Oh, hospital. I hear the REM pod going off. So right now we uh, have some stuff set up at the nurse's station. The reason I did that was because when I was over there before, we were filming some B-roll and something went, hey, but it sounded like it came out of a radio, yet we didn't have any equipment set up yet. So I found it interesting. Hello? It could sound like it came from a radio. Weird. Tanner didn't hear it, but after that, he did feel a gust of wind over there, so we think something might be up. So we're gonna see if we can get whatever that was to talk again, because I want you to hear it. On another note, happy birthday. Yeah, it's a, the birthday investigation. What point at me, let me say something. Nothing's gonna scare me tonight, and I just wanna let everybody know I'm wearing a mask because I'm a little sicky, and there's a lot of dust here, okay? Just so we're square. So this is the nurse's station. This is exactly where I was. I was standing right here when we we're doing the B-roll. I believe I was walking this way and right here it sounded like going, hey, out of a radio. But I mean, let me make sure there's not a hidden radio over here or something. The thing I'm most scared about is the, there is large raccoons in here somewhere. I haven't seen one yet. There's paw prints, there's poop everywhere. What am I hearing down there? Hello? Hello? Fast. What's fast? Are you moving around fast? Whoever was over here before, I definitely heard you say something. Is there any way you can recreate that? Can you say hello again? What's your name? Drink. Drink. You know, I will have a step. This place is very, very 
eerie. So I realized, looking back at my channel, this is actually the first time I'm really filming at a hospital. I've been to an asylum before, so I guess that's the closest thing, but this was a very, very old hospital with a lot, a lot of deaths. Ooh. See what I mean? Like that window's wide open right there. Anything can crawl in. We didn't even see the whole place yet, so we got a tour, but uh, he didn't bring us through every hallway and we haven't even been to the upstairs area yet. God. Significant. This is the uh, church area and most people say that this is the most haunted area in the building. However, there is a swarm of wasps in there. So I'm really hesitant to go in there at the moment. I'm sure at some point tonight, I'll try to go in there with night vision and try to avoid them, but I'm really not trying to get stung. So. What did it say? You're okay here. Oh, that's nice. That's comforting. I feel like we're strangers to them. I feel like I, I want to us to go sit somewhere and just kind of chop it up. Yeah, darkness. Should I turn the lights off? Do you want us to turn the lights off? Give us a sign if you want us to turn the lights off. Yeah, you know what? I want to go sit in that uh, office that's right in the front, which was the owner's office. It does smell very grandma-esque. From the way the guy was describing this room, I just feel like it, it's the most significant. And a lot of people have been able to make contact with, uh, what was her name? Mary, something Mary. What do you call her, like Mother Mary? Oh. I scared the ghosts. We just want to properly introduce ourselves. My name is Lindsay and I'm here with Tanner. We came all the way from Las Vegas to speak to whoever's willing to speak to us tonight. Yeah. What is it? Go. I thought it said go. Oh. Can you step away from the REM pod? What's oh, going crazy? Whose office was this? <laughs> Hello. Is there anyone here? <laughs> Whose desk is this? I have to get water. I'm so hot. Is there somewhere else we should go? Where are you guys hiding in the building? Sit outside. If there's anybody here, can you give us a clear sign? There's people screaming outside. What was this office used for? Crime. Cri it was used for crime, okay. Did a lot of crime take place in this hospital? Are any of the people that died here, are you guys stuck? Who's this a picture of? Struggling. I just want to sit in silence for like five minutes and just see if we hear anything. Although this place is creepy, what do you feel by being in? Yeah, like being in here. What do you feel? I, it just feels like dumb heavy. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's what I feel. I just shh, listen. It said shh, listen. Wait, that's what I just said. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think we need to just sit in silence for a couple minutes. I'm going to stand right here because this is where I heard the thing before. Um, maybe just like right over there. Wherever you feel drawn to. Investigate. It says investigate. We, that's crazy. We are investigating. Okay. 
You're being followed. Chase. I heard something like drag in one of the rooms. You told us to be quiet, so we're going to be quiet, but can you make a really loud sound for us? It says, hey, over here. The light. Did you hear that? What is that? Did you hear the movement? You can hear all that? Oh, yeah, I hear that now. Yeah, I heard a good amount of movement. I can't tell which room it came from, but it was somewhere over here. Hello? Can you make that sound again? Can you move whatever that was? Thank you. Can you do it again? I can't tell where it's coming from. Are you a child? Can you move that again, please? We're trying to figure out where you are. Heard that. That's exactly what I heard over here, but it was just more. She has her eye on you. She has her eye on you, okay. It's like, uh, just like based on what the word bank is saying, if, I feel like uh, something's like playing games. Like it's saying like it's chasing us, they're watching us. We fought here. What did they say? We fought here? Mm -hmm. Over here. What? Just tapping over here. Oh. A little. We can talk. Secret surrounding my death, it said. What happened to you here? Wait, I heard it. Where are you? Is there anybody in this nursery? Is there any kids around here? God, this doesn't look like a great nursery, you know? Yeah, just oh. I didn't go in here yet. Hello? Oh, this is the kitchen. We didn't even come back here yet. The guy who gave us a tour said that the kitchen is very noisy. Going? Yeah, let's go in there. Is there anybody in here? Damn. Where? You see? No. I don't I'm glad I didn't. I don't want to see it. They still have spices here. Look. This is definitely not a um, health-approved kitchen. Health department did not approve this one. So funny how your neck deep in goes, but you're scared of cockroaches. Is that from uh, a raccoon? I hear that you like to bang around a lot of stuff in here, make a lot of noise. Can you show me how you do that? I've seen a lot of crazy paranormal activity, so it takes a bit to impress me. Oh, wait, there, I hear something back there. Hello? What is that? I 
just really don't want there to be a raccoon that pops out. Something's back there. Something's definitely back there. Whether it's a ghost or an animal, I don't really know at this point. What did it say? Uh, blind, she scares people contained. I don't know what's back that way, but something's moving back there. That's the fridge. That doorway? Yeah. Oh, that's a huge cockroach. Yeah. Oh, that's probably what I heard. That thing is stomping. So it is very hot in here. Tanner and I are gonna go cool down in the car for five minutes because my camera is even overheating at this point. So I'm gonna leave this camera rolling in here just in case anything happens when we step out. I definitely messed up by not bringing a mask because not feeling too good in here with all the dust and the, the smells. I'm all alone now. And said, look, where do you want me to look? I've been looking all night for you. It's just really eerie picturing this as it used to be with patients walking around or during the time when it was a drug rehab center. And whether or not, I mean, this place is definitely haunted. I would say that you can feel it when you walk in the building, but whether or not it's intelligent entities or spirits, I'm not 100% sure, but I definitely know that there is some kind of residual energy here. And I believe that is very common when you're at a place like a hospital or a prison, when there's, you know, um, a lot of deaths and trauma, because I think sometimes residual energy is just heavy trauma sticking to the building. God, look at this. Looks like they were doing science experiments in there. There's something about a long hallway in an abandoned hospital with a wheelchair in the middle. That just really gets me. It just really gets me going. God, that scared me. Can you give me a solid yell? I heard, I heard somebody, but Honestly, because of all the windows being open, I really can't prove or disprove if it's coming from in here or not. Oh my God. Is that Tanner? Oh God, you scared the shit out of me. Oh wow. That's a cool picture of a shadow figure up in that window. Oh my God, that is a huge cockroach. Honestly, that's the most impressive thing about this place is how large the cockroaches are. Oh. What was that? God damn it, every time I turn on the spirit box, something like loud will move. Something really loud moved in here.
Do you want to come sit in this wheelchair? Honestly, the main thing here is I, just because there's so many hallways, I always feel like something could come up behind me and it's making me feel very, very uneasy. I constantly feel like I'm looking over my shoulder. Um, but for a good reason. I wonder what's in here. It doesn't open. I keep getting drawn back here. Like I really feel something weird about this nursery area. Can you make one of those dolls move or talk? I've heard that you've been able to set some of these dolls off before. Can you do that for me? A bug, a bug. Okay. We're okay. Whew. Get the SLS. You wanna go set this up in the church? Yeah, let's do it. Something knocked in there. It's like they're excited we're coming. I'm so scared of this bee coming after me. Do you want us to come pray in here? Is it picking up anything? Is there anyone that wants to come make a confession? Maybe point it in the confessional thing. Want to try in the hallway? Yeah. You know what? We never went upstairs. Oh, this is the balcony into the church. So they say that uh, they can hear people singing up here sometimes on this little balcony. Can you sing for us? Oh, it goes up another level. Oh, another creepy long hallway. So this is, uh, I believe, just, whoa. I think that was my light reflection. Oh, wow, look at this.
This room feels weird. It smells like Play-Doh in here. Babe, doesn't it smell like Play-Doh in here? Yeah, it does. Like very strong Play-Doh. Look at those Bibles over there. Oh, well, this is up here is where, uh, in the picture I saw down there, there was a big shadow figure standing up here. I mean, we can probably sleep here. Hmm, what is this? Is this somebody's box? Oh, okay, that seems strange. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, that scared me so bad. No hits on the SLS. And you know, can't get it every time. You don't have to go too far. I'll check it out. Okay. I'm just not looking up. Looks up. Mm. Oh wow, paperwork. Blake. Victim impact. Oh wow, this is actually paperwork from, wait, is that blood on it? Yeah, that's what I was saying, I think it is. What the heck? It's a lot of blood, if that's blood. Is that a picture? California. Federal criminal. Oh, the wow. 90s. Oh my God, this is all original paperwork. That's actually so cool. Mr. William J. Stroman, attorney at law. Oh God, hmm. it's an animal it's head. Oh. It does look like an animal head though. They did say people used to come in here though and sacrifice animals, so. Oh, let's turn back. There's a, you don't want to see the very large spider at hand it's over there. That's, whoo, yeah. Everything's bigger in Texas. Right, we're coming up. <laughs> we're coming upstairs, so. We ran into the wall. It looks like someone was doing some kind of ritual or seance in here. Got a lot of books in here. A lot of reading material. Do you think they have hatchet? What's that? Only book I ever read. We should try the Ouija board on this table. So I just want to point out too that this is my blood on the Ouija board. I don't remember what happened, but it was in my room and I, I think I cut my finger or something and That's I just, I don't know, I just thought it'd be cool. I thought it'd be like a nice little touch, you know, put my energy on there. We should set it on fire. We should not set it on fire. <laughs> is there anyone up here that wants to come play the Ouija board with us? We brought a game for you. It is my birthday. And my one wish is for you to come play this game with us and give us some really crazy paranormal activity. Ooh, I got that weird pain in my head again. It could be a sinus thing, but earlier when we did the tour, remember I said that I felt like a weird, like a shock, like a little zzz. I haven't felt that until we were here. You okay? Yeah, no, I just feel, this room makes me feel weird. I don't know why. Like, it's not that it's creepy. I feel like it's less creepy up here, but I, if, I'm the most warm in this room. Okay, we ask that any of the spirits that are, are willing to come play this game, we invite you to the table 
If you want to use my energy to move this planchette, you can. And we only wish to communicate with any energy that's of love and light. We don't want any evil coming through or any darkness. So we're going to go ahead and start by doing a figure eight. Do three figure eights around the board. One, two, three. Is there anyone that used to work at this hospital? It's moving a little. That's not you? No. Look. I'm holding it pretty tight. Maybe try to hold it a little looser. Because if can you're. Switch hands? Yeah, yeah, you can switch hands. I'm just basically putting my nails on it. Is that you moving this? Can you move it again? Can you move it a little bit further if, if that is somebody trying to communicate with us? We also have this here if you want to make a word pop up if that's easier. The EMF on this is spiking a lot. Is there somebody here with us? Move this to yes if there's somebody here. You're not moving it? Mm -hmm. I just have my nail on it. It's like twisting. You see that? Woo. I feel like I'm getting dizzy. Wait, I'm getting like wobbly. Hold on, maybe it's my stance. I feel, s I know it's hot, but I feel really weird and dizzy. Like I, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels very, very strange. Is there somebody in the room with us? Can you give us solid proof if there is somebody here? I feel like I'm on in like a fun house. Like I feel like my body's like. Can I take a break? Yeah, I don't know. I feel weird. Okay, I gotta move it. Take a bye. Um, we're going to pause this game for now. Uh, I appreciate that if that was somebody trying to communicate with me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the spirit box to see if that's easier for you to communicate with us through. Can you touch that REM pod again? Can you give me a name at least? If I come in front of your room, can you pop out and say something into this device? Can you tell me your name? How many patients passed away in this building? Is that the REM pod going off? Whoever's in there sending the REM pod off, can you come out here and talk to me? I know that a lot of bad things happen in this building, and I know that maybe you feel like you're stuck here. If that's the case, can you tell me that? Am I right? Yes. Is there children here? Something moved? It wasn't the rampart, but I heard something. Yeah, I thought it was in here.
Do you want to play hide and seek? It's it's something in here. I'm telling you, I've heard it like twice now. It's like a little impaled. impaled. Like it's just something ever so slight that sounds like it's sliding. Protected. <laughs> I don't know that the volume was on that loud. Is there anything else that you want to say? Is there anywhere else that you want us to go? Is there any lonely spirits here that want to talk? Can you knock back for me? I don't really know what I would do if something knocked back. Don't follow the voices. What are the voices? I don't hear any. Well, it seems like like I've I've hit I've I've, heard, I've hid I've hid I'm hiding. I've heard a bit of movement up here and like little sounds and whatnot. But like I said before, to me this seems like a residual haunting because when I'm asking things to happen, in some locations things will happen on cue. Mirrors. Some things will happen on cue and it's very exciting. But here, like you'll hear things happen, but it's not really when you expect it to or when you're asking them to do some things. There is a mirror in here. Maybe I have to do something with the mirror. Is there something attached to this mirror? I want to write my name on it. Now I'll be here forever. Given what you've seen, do you think this place could be haunted? Or is it just an old building with a tragic history? Even without direct proof of spirits wandering the halls, do you believe a building can hold on to the energy of its past? Floors once walked on by suffering patients, or even the bloodstains in the basement from a gruesome murder. Can these things leave a mark? The real question might be, how could a place not be haunted when so many people took their final breaths within its walls?